it's always an interesting um, time, the first meeting, because you're really getting to know each other. And you hear, I always like having both people at the meeting because, you know, somebody might feel like they're not involved, but they really are involved. I think it's a really great uh, time to see what the whole process looks like. On the discovery part, you know, it's just really coming away with a sense that we were able to communicate our process and the timelines and, and make it clear up some of that haze of what's next and how long should it take. And that goes right along with the Murphy Method because it's discovery, design, delivery, and dedication. And so being able to take that from the discovery phase of where we're talking with you guys and getting to know you guys and, and getting to know what your wants, needs, must-haves, wish list is, and, and being able to take that and go, okay, this is kind of where, say, the ballpark would be for a project similar to this, typically. We wanted a TV fireplace area, we wanted a bar area, and we wanted a pool table so we could play pool down there. And when you guys saw the area, it's like, you can't, the pool table's not gonna fit. So part of the discovery phase for us was finding out that we really couldn't do everything we wanted. And now I look back on it, it's like, I don't know where we ever would have thought we were going to put a pool table in there. <laughs> it just was not going to work. The discovery phrase was just going into it thinking, oh, I think it's going to cost this much, and then knowing that it's probably not anywhere close to what I thought it was going to cost. And so there's always that fear factor. Are you going in over your head thinking about this project, and it's going to cost a lot more than what you thought? So you always have that little, because I've never remodeled my own home before, I wasn't sure what that price was going to be. I'm a HGTV addict and they do these humongous things for $50,000. It's like, it's not realistic. You know, people like me, it's, when you step into reality, it's like, what? But they did this for this amount. It's because you don't know the whole story. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably just the materials. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You always have this big picture of everything you want because you want what everybody else has. Then you got to take a step back and say, but that's really not probably what's best for our project. So actually the very first time we were presented it, I was in sticker shock, to be very honest. So we thought about it for six months and then decided to go forward with the project and ended up making our project bigger than what we initially had. But it gave me time to think about what we really wanted to do and what was important to us on the project. And Murphy Brothers allowed us that time. They didn't pressure us to just say, I needed some more time to think about what we wanted to do because it was a large amount of money and we wanted to do it correctly because we knew we weren't going to do it again. And we decided we were not going to sell our house, so we thought the investment was good. It does help to have somebody like Murphy Brothers come in and steer you in the right direction to do some of those things correctly, but yet still expand your horizons too, but maybe a different direction than what you were going to go. We were really excited through the whole process and then uh, that you guys nominated our basement for the Cody Award and uh, see that that won. So that was pretty cool. And uh, it's just nice to know we have an award winning basement. It turned you into basement people. <laughs> we're lower level I never people. Oh. In the basement, it's a lower <laughs> level. It's really not. Yeah. <laughs>